Guam's governor has warned residents of a possible direct hit from Typhoon Mawar as it strengthened into a dangerous Category 4 storm in the Pacific today. The governor has also declared a state of emergency for this U.S. territory, which has a 168,000 strong population and is home to three American military bases ahead of the storm's expected arrival Wednesday midday local time as a possible super typhoon. The eye of the storm is on track to pass directly over Guam. The National Weather Service office in Guam has said that the powerful storm is continuing to intensify. Officials warned residents not living in fully concrete structures to consider moving for their own safety. Over the weekend, a rapidly intensifying region of thunderstorms in the western Pacific has culminated in the formation of Typhoon Mawar. There is a risk of wind speeds above 75 miles per hour with torrential rain. The potential for disruptive wind and rain will also exist for parts of the Philippines and perhaps towards Taiwan. The destructive storm surge, high winds and flooding rain could be Guam's strongest and closest strike in over 20 years. Mawar currently has maximum sustained winds of 155 miles per hour, which makes it the equivalent of a strong Category 4 hurricane. There is a chance Mawar could briefly hit Category 5 strength on its approach to Guam. Bands of rain will most likely continue to push through Guam and the Marianas as the typhoon draws closer. The closest approach of the center and the most severe impact is expected near Guam or Rota Island sometime tomorrow. Mawar, meaning rose in Malaysian, has steadily intensified over the past two days and torrential rains of 8 to 15 inches with locally higher amounts have been predicted. Besides, dangerous high surf of 15 to 25 feet has also been predicted to affect Guam throughout tomorrow. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.